All right, so let's move on to a topic we've hinted at a few times. Uh, which rookie quarterback, I guess you can't really include Trey Lance because he's only been in here or there. I don't think it's fair to include Justin Fields either. Uh, so it's really between Zach Wilson, Mac Jones. Can we include Kellen Mond? <laughs> is, he the, is he the Texans one? Who no, is the, the Texans pick? The te- they have, I don't remember his name. He did not look great. <laughs> no, when he, came fair, he was he was their first pick in the fourth round, of the entire <laughs> draft, their first pick or whatever. So I guess it's really between Zach Wilson, uh, Trevor Lawrence, and Mac Jones. I mean, it's got it's got to be Zach Wilson, especially after w- what he did against the Patriots. It's just poor decisions and poor mechanics on almost all of his throws that were interceptions. He had some nice ones though. He had a couple of nice passes. That we were like, okay, I could see like what what his potential, uh, but and, um, I don't know if he's going to get there this year. I, I almost feel like he's going to be Jay Cutler. Jay Cutler was a good quarterback, but he's wild at times, and you don't necessarily want that. I honestly see some Sam Darnold in him. Um, yeah. In that, you know, last week I saw like that he played. He didn't play a great game by any means, but he played. I think it gave Jets hands Jets fans hope. Um, which is exactly what Darnold did early on. It was like, oh, Darnold looks good. And then he would have a terrible game. And they just started piling up. They became more and more frequent. Um, But I'm actually going to say it's Trevor Lawrence. And I know everybody's going to be like, oh, you're the Colts fan. Of course, you're you're saying that about the Jaguars quarterback. But here's my reasoning. Trevor Lawrence was billed as the next generational quarterback, a la Andrew Luck, a la Peyton Manning, uh, John Elway. Um, and he has looked quite frankly, pretty bad <laughs> through two weeks. Uh, just, I mean, you think that I, I might be a little biased because Andrew Luck did what he did his rookie year, but you'd think that he would at least look a little better. He has weapons to work with. Um, he look he's pretty fast. He's faster than I thought he was. So he can move around and scramble kind of like how luck used to be able to do. So I understand his offensive line's bad. I understand his defensive line's bad. But you've played the – they played the Broncos last week, which they're a solid team. I don't think they're great by any means. And then week one, you get manhandled by a Texans team that was projected to be the worst team in the NFL. They have nothing on that team. Yeah. A rookie head coach um, and all the drama. Like, how do you let that happen? Yeah. How do you, I I don't, I'm not asking them to win the game, although they probably should have. I'm asking you to not get blown out of the the front doors. I mean, it was insane. So I'm going to say Trevor Lawrence just largely because of expectations. Okay. I would agree with that. I I kind of hear what you're saying. Like he was supposed to be world beating, like a world beating, a world beater. And he's not looking nearly like that. No. But in terms of an individual performance, it's hard to top that Zach Wilson <laughs> egg. <laughs> uh, the one that, like you said earlier, to Justin Case Jackson, I thought, like, was he his intended receiver? <laughs> <laughs> he threw the ball, and I was – because you know how you can't see it, right? Yeah, yeah, and then yeah. as soon as I saw J.C. Jackson right there like this, I was like, what are you doing, man? <laughs> He's seeing ghosts out there. 